Welcome back, crime sceners. There's a bit of a stir in the cold case world this morning after an arrest has been made in relation to the Easy Street murders, a 47-year-old cold case. Now, if I didn't bang on about Annette Ellis so much, this is probably a case I would have covered. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you know about the Easy Street murders. Uh, if you don't, I'm just going to do a quick little recap. The Easy Street murders were the murders of two women who lived together, roommates. One was Suzanne Armstrong, who was 28 years old, and the other was Susan Bartlett, who was 27. Susan was a school teacher at the Collingwood Education Centre, and Suzanne was a single mother of a 16-month-old son, Gregory. All three of them lived at 147 Easy Street in Collingwood, and that's where the two women were stabbed to death in their homes right there on Easy Street, hence being called the Easy Street Murders. Suzanne was stabbed 29 times and Susan was stabbed 55 times. And the piece of shit left Gregory in his cot to rot. He was alone in his cot for three days with nobody to take care of him, no food, no water, and was found severely dehydrated. There were no signs of forced entry. The killer had cleaned up in the bathroom after he had killed both of the women. And he exited out the back door and the laneway gate and he left both the door and the laneway gate open. Suzanne's boyfriend had visited the house two days after both women were already dead. He'd entered through the back door and he obviously had not gone up to the front of the house where both the bodies were. Suzanne was on her bed and Susan was in the hallway right next to Suzanne's bedroom right by the front door. The boyfriend apparently just wrote a note, left it on the kitchen table and then left out the back door again. Why he didn't check the rest of the house and why he didn't think it was weird that the gate and the back door were wide open is anybody's guess. But Suzanne had also been R word and there was a semen sample from that. But it's been 47 years since this happened. This was the 10th of January 1977, so over 47 years. Once cold cases get this far along, like as we see with the net all the time, net has been 40 years and we're hoping and wondering if it's ever going to get solved given the amount of time that's passed. But the reason I'm doing this video today is because they've actually made an arrest in the Easy Street murders. A 65-year-old man who has a dual citizenship with Australia and Greece has been arrested in the Rome airport in Italy. And if these reports are correct, Suzanne actually gave birth to Gregory in Greece. So I'm wondering if there's some connection there. But this guy would have been 18 years old at the time. At first I thought, hey, maybe that's Gregory's father and he's upset that she's come to Australia with the baby. But he would have been 16 years old when Gregory was born and Suzanne would have been 26. So there might be something there. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out what this guy's connection is to either Suzanne or Susan, just because Suzanne had a baby in Greece and he's a Greek uh, citizen doesn't mean that he had anything to do with Suzanne at all. Could still have been Susan. Although he did R word Suzanne and not Susan. So I'm guessing Suzanne's the intended target here. But I guess we'll find out eventually. We'll see how this goes. And the reason that I'm even talking about this today is because it made me feel really, really hopeful that a case could be solved after 47 years when Nanette's is only 40. Hopefully Nanette's case is the next one with an arrest.